good evening all in this video we will be having a brief overview of the way of the cross or station of the cross in order to commemorate with the good friday the stations of the cross are a 14 step catholic devotion that commemorate jesus christ last day on earth as a man the 14 devotions or stations focus on specific events of his last day beginning with his condemnation the stations are commonly used as a mini pilgrimage as the individual moves from station to station at each station the individual recalls and meditates on a specific event from christ last day specific prayers are recited then the individual moves to the next station until all 14 stations are complete the stations of the cross are commonly found in churches as a series of 14 small icons or images they can also appear in churchyards arranged along paths the stations are most commonly prayed during lent on wednesdays and fridays and especially on good friday the day of the year upon which the events actually occurred first station jesus is condemned to death we adore thee o christ and bless thee because of thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world jesus you stand all alone before pilate nobody speaks up for you nobody helps defends you you devoted your entire life to helping others listening to the smallest ones caring for those who were ignored by others they don't seem to remember that as they prepare to put you to death as a child sometimes i feel alone sometimes i feel that others don't stand up for me and defend me when i am afraid sometimes i don't feel that i am treated fairly especially if i am scolded or corrected as an adult sometimes i feel abandoned and afraid as well sometimes i too feel like i am treated unfairly or blamed for things unfairly i have a hard time when people criticize me at home or work help me be grateful for what you did for me help me to accept criticism and unfairness as you did and not complain help me pray for those who have hurt me may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of lord rest in peace amen second station jesus carries his cross we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world jesus as we accepted your cross you knew you would carry it to your death on calvary you knew it wouldn't be easy but you accepted it and carried it just the same as a child sometimes i don't like the problems that come my way sometimes i try to get others to take care of them or solve them for me sometimes i become upset and crabby when i am asked to do even the smallest thing to help others as an adult i sometimes feel like i am not appreciated sometimes i feel as if i accept more responsibility than i need to i can feel sorry for myself even though the crosses others carry are much larger than my own in my self pity i don't reach out to help have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of lord god rest in peace amen third station jesus falls the first time we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world jesus the cross you have been carrying is very heavy you are becoming weak and almost ready to faint and you fall down nobody seems to want to help you the soldiers are interested in getting home so they yell at you and try to get you up and moving again as a child sometimes i start to do something but then get tired of it i hurry to get finished and sometimes don't do my work well sometimes i don't pay attention to what i should be doing when things get hard for me sometimes i give up as an adult i sometimes put things off i give up easily and sometimes don't do my work as well as i know i can have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen fourth station jesus meets his mother we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world 
Jesus, you feel you feel so alone with all those people yelling and screaming at you. You don't like the words they are saying about you and you look for a friendly face in the crowd. You see your mother, she can't make the hurting stop, but it helps to see that she is on your side, that she is suffering with you, she does understand and care. As a child, sometimes I feel like too many things are going on. Sometimes other kids pick on me and call me names. I need to look around for a friendly face and for the help I need, I need to share my troubles with who, who truly cares about me. As an adult, I sometimes feel overwhelmed by many things. Life is so competitive and I worry so much about my future and those who have some control over it. I need to remember that being an adult does not mean having to solve every problem all by myself. I need to look around me for a friendly face for the help I need. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helped Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, the soldiers are becoming impatient that this is taking longer than they wanted it to. They are afraid you won't make it to the hill where you, have, you will be crucified. As you grow weaker, they grab a man out of the crowd and make him help carry your cross. He was just watching what was happening, but all of a sudden he is helping you carry your cross. As a child, sometimes I see people who need my help. Sometimes I pretend not to hear when my parents call me. I disappear when I know others could use my help. As an adult, sometimes I try to do as little as I can and still get by. Others might need my help, but I ignore their needs even when I am asked to help, sometimes claim to be busy. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross we have redeemed the world. Jesus. Suddenly a woman comes out of the crowd. Her name is Veronica. You can see how she cares for you as she takes a cloth and begins to wipe the blood and sweat from your face. She can't do much, but she offers what little help she can. As a child, sometimes I know someone could use a little help and understanding. They may be picked on or teased by others or just sad or lonely. Sometimes I feel bad that others don't step in to help, but I don't help either. As an adult, I notice the needs around me. Sometimes my own family members crave my attention and I don't even seem to notice. Sometimes a co-worker, friend or family member could use help or understanding, but I don't reach out to help lest I be criticized or that they demand more of me than I would like to give. Jesus Christ was crucified. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is the second time you have fallen on the road. As the cross grows heavier and heavier, it becomes more difficult to get up. But you continue to struggle and try until you are up and walking again. You don't give up. As a child, sometimes things get me down. Others seem to find things easier to do or to learn. Each time I fall, I find it harder to keep trying. As an adult, sometimes I think I should know more than I do. I become impatient with myself and find it hard to believe in myself when I fall. It is easy to despair over small things and sometimes I do. Help me when things seem difficult for me, even when it's hard. Help me get up and keep trying as you did. Help me to do my best without comparing myself with others. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Eighth station. Jesus meets 
द वुमन ऑफ जेरूसलम वी अडोर यू वो क्राइस्ट एंड वी प्रेज यू बिकॉज बाई योर ओली क्रॉस यू आर रिडीम दी वर्ल्ड जीसस एज यू कैरी योर क्रॉस यू सी ए ग्रुप ऑफ वुमेन अलॉन्ग द रोड एज यू पास बाई यू सी दे आर सैड यू स्टॉप टू स्पेंड अ मोमेंट विद दम टू ऑफर दम सम एंकरेजमेंट ऑल दो यू हैव बीन अबंडेड बाई योर फ्रेंड्स एंड आर इन पेन यू स्टॉप एंड ट्राई टू हेल्प दम एज अ चाइल्ड समटाइम्स आई थिंक अ लॉट अबाउट माई सेल्फ आई थिंक अबाउट वॉट आई वॉन्ट एंड वुड लाइक पीपल टू स्पेंड द लाइफ प्लीसिंग मी एज एन अडल्ट Sometimes I act like a child. I become so absorbed in myself and what I would like that I forget about the needs of others. I take them for granted and often ignore their needs. Help me think about more about others. Help me remember that others have problems too. Help me respond to them even when I am busy or preoccupied with my own problems. Have mercy on us. May the soul of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Ninth station. Jesus falls a third time. Ha, we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, your journey has been long. You fall again beneath your cross. You know your journey is coming to an end. You struggle and struggle. You get up and keep going. As a child, sometimes I fail time and time again. I find it hard to get along with my sisters and brothers. Sometimes I am not honest. Sometimes I'm lazy. I am tempted to stop trying. It's just too hard sometimes. As an adult, I often feel I should have conquered my weakness by now. I become discouraged when I confronted by the same problems over and over again. Sometimes I get weary when I have health problems. I can become discouraged and depressed. Help me think of the cross you carried. Help me continue to hope that I can make the changes in my life if need to. You do not give up I can have the strength to get up again as well have mercy on us may the soul of the faithful departed through the mercy of lord rest in peace amen 10th station jesus clothes are taken away we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world the soldiers notice you have something of value they remove your cloak and throw dice for it your wounds are torn open once again some of the people in the crowd make fun of you they tease you and challenge you to perform a miracle for them to see they are not aware that you will perform the greatest miracle of all as a child sometimes i am tempted to repeat stories i am I know are unclean and disrespectful I sometimes try to act grown up by using crude and bad words as a adult sometimes I repeat stories that are disrespectful of others I can entertain thoughts that are not clean sometimes I give the young people around me a bad example to follow help me to keep myself pure and clean help me say thing that build up the people around me help me overcome worldly desires that I may become more like Jesus Help me set a good example for others. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. 11th station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You are stretched out on the cross you have carried so far. The soldiers take big nails and drive them in your hands and feet. You feel abandoned by the people you love so much. people seem to have gone mad you have done nothing but good yet they drive nails through hands and feet as a child sometimes i hurt others sometimes i join with friends and decide not to like another we gang up against another and cause them hurt and pain sometimes i say or do hurtful things to my brothers and sisters i can wonder what they would think about themselves if they believed everything i taught them about themselves as an adult sometimes i discriminate against others even without thinking i judge others because of their color intelligence income level or name i forget that i am to live as a brother or sister to all people sometimes i used harsh words when i speak to my children and family members i can find it easy to look for something that isn't very important and make it make it very important help me look again at the people around me help me see the hurt and pain i have caused in others be with me to help me make amends for the harm i have done have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen 
12th station Jesus dies on the cross we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world as jesus hung on the cross he forgave the soldiers who had crucified him and prayed for his mothers and friends jesus wanted all of us to be able to live forever with god so he gave all he had for us jesus let me take a few moments now to consider your love for me help me thank you for your willingness to go to your death for me help me express my love for you have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen 13th station the body of jesus is taken down from the cross we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world jesus how brutally you were put to death how gently you are taken from the cross you your suffering and pain are ended and you are put in the lap of your mother the dirt and blood are wiped away you are treated with love as a child sometimes i treat others better when they are sad or in pain when something somebody dies i become very gentle and kind i notice the good and kind things people say about those who have died as an adult i seem to be kinder when someone dies if only i could learn to see the good things about them while they were alive if only i would tell those around me how much i loved them when i still have the opportunity to do so help me look for the good in those around me especially those i love the most help me live this day as if it were the last help me become a more gentle and a loving person through my great appreciation for those around me have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen 14th station jesus is laid in the tomb We adore you O Christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world Jesus your body is prepared for burial Joseph gave you his tomb he laid your body there and rolled a large stone in front of it then went home what a sad day it has been for so many people as a child sometimes i try to keep everything for myself i find it hard to share my things with my brothers or sisters and with my friends as an adult i can be selfish too i can accumulate things and keep them for myself i try to make sure i have what i want before i share what i have with anybody else help me think of joseph of arimathea who risked his own life as he accepted jesus body for burial help me think of how joseph loved jesus so much that he gave his own tomb have mercy on us may the soul of faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen